Hi everyone, in this video we're going to have take a look at bridge rectifier and a circuit called capacitance multiply. We're going to look at their output via oscilloscope on both and see what kind of a waveform do we get once we start loading these systems up. Bridge rectifier, everyone should know them, you got a transformer, you have a set of diodes and you have a bulk capacitor at the end, trans confirms, converts AC into DC. This is very load dependent, so as your load goes up, you will see that the ripple will pass through the transformer into the output, obviously, because the diodes and the capacitors can only maintain certain amount of load before the ripple will pass through them. Then we come over here, we got a capacitance multiplier. We have a set of resistor and capacitors to form cascade of filters. We have a medium transistor here and we have a pass output transistor power transistor at the output we get our power power supply basically from the output of the bridge rectifier so the output of the bridge rectifier and the bulk capacitor is feeding into this circuit over here and uh, because we are getting our positive supply from the rail so whatever uh, ripple is in here is going to pass through our uh, medium transistor into the output transistor but because we have cascade of filters here that's going to start killing the ripple one by one one by one by the time it gets to here there's going to be hardly any and uh, we're going to have a clean signal at the output of that that's the whole point of a capacitance multiply it doesn't mean that it's actually going to multiply your capacitor so if you put your meter here at the end you're not going to get thousands upon thousands of capacitors no basically it's a cascade of filters that filters the power's supply rail by the time it gets to here and to the output that there'll be hardly any ripple left to go through the output there so that's the circuit let's quickly have a look at the circuit on breadboard gotta be careful things don't blow up because it's connected so let's quickly have a look we got our ac coming in here we got bridge rectifier here with our 10,000 microfarad capacitor we are looking at a scope right at the end of the bridge rectifier at one of the uh, channels and then we got here we got a cascade of resistor capacitor resistor capacitors our first medium transistor and our output pass power transistor here we are looking at the output of the pass transistor and we also are looking going to look at the each stage of the filter of the capacitance multiplier to see what type of ripple passes through each stage and to do that we got to have a look at the scope so what do we have here this is the output of the bridge rectifier this is the first stage of one of the um, one of the capacitance multiplies filter and this is the output of the capacitance multiply itself so let's load it down to 100 milliamp of current we are AC coupled so obviously the signals the trace is going to jump around so let's see uh, the yellow we are 200 millivolt division so right here with 100 milliamp of current we're reporting about 90 millivolt of ripple on the output of our bridge rectifier the first stage of the capacitance multiplier zero basically hasn't changed this was when we were pulling no current at all uh, the same as there so i think this is just background noise because I've got the light on, I've got the many things on here. So this is just, these are just background noises. And the fact that I'm on the breadboard as well, as you can see from shaking it, this will change as well. So this hardly anything there. We can't see any ripple ourselves. So I'm going to say there's zero on both of them. Okay, now let's jump into 200 milliamp. At 200 milliamp, we got about 150, almost 150 millivolt of ripple. Again, the first stage and the output of the breadboard capacitance multiply rock solid nothing let's move to 400 milliamp of current you can see the outer of bridge rectifier 270 millivolt of ripple and we can see that the output of the capacitance multiply is reporting i think around 11 millivolt of ripple so we can see some rippling going around on the output now at 400 milliamp of current let's go even further 800 milliamp of current the output of capacitance multiplier uh, the output of the bridge rectifier is reporting almost half a volt of ripple and the output of the bridge uh, capacitance multiplier is reporting almost 16 millivolt of ripple so from 
almost a half a volt of ripple to almost 16 millivolt of ripple. So that's a very, very big difference. So you can see what the capacitance multiplier is trying to basically kill. It's trying to kill that um, noise that is passing through the rail on, the, on its output, basically. So the ripple is trying to kill the ripple completely. So from half a volt to almost 16 millivolt, that's really, really good. Okay, so I'm going to turn it down now because I don't want to destroy things. All right, let's put this one to the side and let's just quickly have a read at the circuit again. So, you can see now what's the whole point of having this circuit that basically it destroys any ripple on the power line and outputs nice and clean signal compared to just having capacitor and the bridge rectifier and so on. To get that kind of performance we just looked at, you're going to need at least five or six thousand microfarad capacitors. You're going to need five or six, you know, of the ten thousand microfarad capacitors in uh, in parallel with each other to get almost the same kind of result. And these capacitors are expensive, so you see the whole point of having this circuit. It's quite cheap to make and you get much better result than having multiple capacitors. And the problem with capacitors, they're expensive, they can fail. If one of these fails, then you're back into the same situation again. Your ripple is gonna go up over this. It's very elegant, very elegant circuit to have. And the whole point of this is that you feed the output of this into this, and the output of this can go into a linear regulator, and then from the linear, uh, linear regulator, you can get your power. So free stage of killing ripple basically from here to there to another one to kill ripple to get really rock solid result and really nice clean uh, power for your circuits for your op amps and very sensitive equipment it's good to use capacitance multiplier right after your bridge rectifier and the feed the output of this into your linear regulator i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please give it a thumbs up and you haven't subscribed please subscribe for other videos to come and until next day have a good day